Hey, 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 before we start this video, there's two things that I forgot to mention in the duration of this video. One thing is that the IP that you want to use for Geyser is your public IP address. And if you Google what's my IP, it'll show you your public IP address. And that's what you use to connect. Second of all, I wanted to mention that Geyser MC is plugin agnostic, meaning that no, it doesn't matter what plugins you have on your server, it should work. Now, this does not work in any capacity with mods, so don't get your hopes up about that. But if you're hoping to connect to a bucket server, sponge server, uh, spigot server, paper server, doesn't matter, it will connect. So, I just want to mention these things because I forgot to mention them in the whole video and I feel dumb about it, but. You all, enjoy the rest of the video. Peace. Hey, what is up guys, it's Zippish here, and today I wanna show you something really cool. Now, this is a little program that allows you to play on Java servers of Minecraft using a Bedrock client, like uh, the PC version, smartphones, Xbox, or Switch. And I'm gonna show you how to get this set up uh, it might not work oh. okay thanks Google <laughs> it may not work with switch just yet or Xbox but I will show you how to get that working in the next video where I show you how to connect your Nintendo switch to like any Minecraft pocket server that isn't just the few that they include with the game all right so I'm gonna drag you over here and I'm gonna bring you up to my desktop and here, I'm gonna leave all the links down in the description, but you wanna to go to this GitHub page that is for Geyser. And if you like what you see and you enjoy trying this out, go to their Discord and show them some appreciation because that would be fantastic. I love this project. It's really cool. I never thought anything like this would be possible. So yeah, just go show them some love if you really like what you see. And you, what you want to do is you want to download Jar of Geyser from the build server. And you're just going to click this little guy right here. I remember when I was younger, Jenkins used to confuse the crap out of me. And then once you have that downloaded, drop it in a folder. I just called mine Geyser. And uh, you're going to want to make a start bat file, which is, it can be done by, uh, I have to look around my... Big old microphone. Uh, you just want to make it just call like start, or it doesn't matter what the batch file is called, as long as it has the right text in it. And we're gonna open this up with Notepad plus plus. And this is what I have mine just set to. And if you want to copy this from the description, it'll be available down there. Um, and once you have that done, just save. What you want to do is you want to save it. Oh, oh. Let's just say I put in the right start script. What you want to do is you want to click save as. And then you're going to start up or whatever. And you're going to go to save uh, as type. All files. And then end it with a dot bat. And there you go. And that made startup dot bat. And when you first use your startup dot bat, this is what's going to show up. And it's done and what this will do is it'll generate these three these two folders in this one file cogpig.yml is what we're going to be toying with right now and uh, basically what you want to do is you don't have to worry about this because otherwise <clears throat> if you port forward this this means that anybody from like a different Wi-Fi or network can use your geyser little proxy But otherwise if you just want to use this on your own home Wi-Fi then th leave this alone This uh, if you do set it up for other people you do need to uh, pour the port Forward the port forward the port and use this port to do so and There's a million videos on YouTube on how to uh, forward a port so I'm not going to be doing that here. This is the IP 
of whatever server you want to connect to. And it could be Java. It has to be Java. It supports 1.15.1, so any updated server will work. I haven't tried it with backwards compatible. I haven't tried it for backwards compatibility. I'm assuming that doesn't work. Uh, this is the authentication type. Uh, if the server is cracked, meaning that people with you know non-legitimate clients of Minecraft uh, can connect, then that means it's, it doesn't need a off type you set that to offline but if you own <laughs> if you own minecraft you want to set this to online if it's not a crack server you want to set this to online down here you can set up to where say that you're the only one using geyser uh, when you log into a server uh, when you if you don't set this up when you connect to a server with geyser you have to log into your Java account. You have to have a Java account for this to work. And th what this will do is it'll autofill that stuff for you. So every time you connect, it's easier. It's that's uh, it makes using the switch uh, a lot easier to use in terms of you know getting in, and playing, having to type your email and password every time you connect. It's kind of annoying. So I would. Right, if depending on how you have this set up, this would be a pretty cool option for you. Um, sometimes this doesn't work, the ping pastor, but I typically set it to true because it doesn't hurt at all for this to be enabled. And if you want to get uh, messages about what's going on on the geyser end for when you're running the, actually running the server, like this you want to turn debug mode on just to get like feedback but if you're just playing the game I wouldn't recommend it because it would just flood your chat I'm pretty sure I haven't really used it so that's it for setting up the config and once you have this set up it sh this should be all you have to do so alright uh, now I'm going to show you this in action so I'm going to boot up my configured version of geyser <clears throat> and I'm going to connect to my minecraft server and I'm going to show you how it works and the reason you would want to do something like this right is that bedrock just feels better like in a general sense it just feels better it's smoother it usually runs better than the java version of minecraft because java is incredibly limited in that sense like if you know it only uses a single core stuff like that and generally it just feels better it's more widely available like i said you can do this on your phone you can play with friends that are on pc it just makes everything more flexible now here I'm going to show you that once you have this booted up you're going to see this uh, you're going to see Java edition Minecraft account you have to type in your password in email so I'm going to go ahead and do that And once you have this all set up, you should, and I was playing this last night with my friends, Subblocks, this is not perfect. This is not complete yet. It's still very much in development. So I don't rag on them too hard. This, these are shulker boxes that are here. Um, oh, shit. My bad. But, uh... You can do things like game mode, creative, negative two. If you know anything about this, normally doesn't work. Uh, at least I think I do. I don't think standard commands like that are in bedrock, but I could be completely stupid and wrong. So 
Actually, just don't, don't quote me on that. But yeah. Movement's not perfect. Like, I'm hitting W right now, and I'm moving at kind of a, a uh, diagonal angle. I don't know what's up with this. But the the idea oh, oh there was something caused my uh, it just just say think that my A key was just being pressed constantly. But yeah, this is not perfect. Let me get that out of the way. It's not complete. But this how cool is this? I, I can't be the only one to think so. And I just want to support the developers as much as possible because the whole idea of getting this running um, it's, it's just really freaking cool. <laughs> so if you guys have any questions just leave a uh, comment down in the uh, oh, 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 where did my face go? <laughs> If you have you guys have any comments, you know, leave one down below and I'll try answering it. I will leave their Discord down in the description if you have any questions for them. They're <clears throat> extremely kind and they're very quick to respond, which is always fantastic for something like this. Um, next video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Switch to other uh, Minecraft Pocket servers or Bedrock servers, and then using what we set up here, we're going to set, uh, get on the Java server on a Switch. So, if you're interested in that, leave a like, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. Uh, I'm going to be, I don't know how much content like this I'm going to be making. I think I'm going to be making a lot of JoJo content, so if you like JoJo's Bizarre Adventures, subscribe for more I know that it's pretty big right now so I think I'm gonna do things like stand reviews and shit like that so if you like the video like I said leave a like if you disliked it leave a dislike comment subscribe and you have a good day peace <laughs>